Cano Malam was off the coast of East Africa when Vasco da Gama turned up um, looking for India. I mean, I'm not quite sure how that happened. Vasco turned up, excuse me, where is India? Uh, and, and Cano Malam was in the story uh, in possession of superior navigational skills, which shows that Indian navigation at the time was superior to that of the, the Portuguese. Well, the 19th century was a period of great change in India. The British colonial system, in a way, changed India from a producer to a consumer. I think in the last quarter of the 19th century, 28 million people died due to the famines. So people had to go wherever destiny took them. I think there was a Gujarati proverb that said, it's better to go to Africa and die when death calls you than to remain in Gujarat and die an unwarranted death. It was very expensive for people to come. Whereas by Daos, uh, they, they came with five rupees only. Many of them landed in Lamu first. My uh, relations used to live in Mombasa and you know the ship used to come to Mombasa so everybody would actually first land in Mombasa and their home would actually on every on an average day have over 10, 15, 20 people staying there people just in transit but the some spirit was so strong that nobody felt oh this is odd or this is difficult or we can't do it I bought this because it is an item that once would have sat on an Indian merchant's desk. Thinking of doing compositions with it and seeing what happens. And actually, funny enough, I've got my old Radha Krishna sitar out and I'm playing that again sort of normally as such. Um, but I do want to see where it goes with this. So MC de uh, developed audiences for Gujarati music, not just for the Gujarati audience. We wanted to have everybody there. We did another album of Srinathji, Jai Jai Srinathji, which was also done. But the Amasada Avinash was a very special thing because Avinash Vyas was an absolute giant of Gujarati music, of Indian music in some ways. <laughs> For example, if there was a big wedding in a Hindu community and they wanted to put up a big tent for the ceremony, then they may go to their neighbours and say, look, we want some chairs and we want to do this, would it be okay? There was a general feeling of closeness. If a white person would get, say, a hundred pounds for doing that job, and the same job, an Indian would do it for 60 pounds maybe. On the train, there were compartments for Indians only, Africans only and the Europeans only. Restaurants in the train were the same. The restaurants and um, uh, 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 hotels in Nairobi, Mombasa, major towns, they were out of bounds to all except the Europeans. The other thing we talk about Idi Amin was that, um, okay, he was able to deport us. And there were about four or five Asians who were killed. But if you take stock of the Africans were killed during Idi Amin's time. We're talking about hundreds of thousands. Little did I understand why, you know, youths or gangs of 10, 15, 20 would chase me down the road <laughs> from school, beat me up. I mean, I remember an incident once I came home, uh, everything torn, and said to my father, um, they just beat me up. Obviously, he said, you must have done something. And I said, honestly, I have done absolutely nothing wrong. That's when the penny started to drop, that in fact there is something called racism. Um, I was lucky enough that about 35, 40 friends of ours went to India as part of my birthday and helped three schools with a few little projects. Um, so yeah, blessed and lucky that you can do things like this. 
undoubtedly the carved doors are the most uh, prominent artistic feature on the, of the architecture of the coastal town. It was just this short period at the end of the 19th century when they came from Europe. But then they began again, they used to be, they were produced in India. should have connection with uh, Gujarat and India and obviously Africa is, is a trading opportunity and Britain to contribute to the British society because we live here they are born here uh, they should contribute in so many ways in, in education in, in health and in, in the business and all the social the cultural aspect of this country the British people they recognize that this Indian people they are all right they were part of the society. We can see the result now. It's all positive. Why my grandchildren or your children learn English, speak English, think English? Common sense. But if you learn Gujarati or Punjabi or Marathi or whatever your mother tongue, it's an extra advantage. My message is enjoy the culture you come from and enjoy the culture you live in.